Hey guys, it's Tanika and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a little get ready with me and all the products I'm going to be using are ones that I don't really reach for anymore. As my collection is growing, some of my old favorites have been pushed to the back of the drawers. So I have dug them out and we're gonna have a play with them today. If you like the sounds of this, give this video a thumbs up and let's get into it. Starting off with primer, I'm going in with this Maybelline Superstay Primer. I don't know why I bought this. I think it was just on sale and I was like, oh, I'll give it a go. And I just don't really reach for it. So on the back, it says that it is an ultra smoothing formula that even skin surface for perfect makeup application. Let's give it a go. Oh, well, I've given it a go before, but you know what I mean. It's very lightweight and it does leave the skin feeling nice and soft, so pretty good. Next, because you all know I'm about that color correcting life, I'm going back in with one of my old favorites. This is the LA Girl Green Pro Concealer. I haven't used this one in a long time and it is really good, so let's dip back into it. I've just put a bit on the back of my hand and I'm going to dip my brush into that and cover up this situation. See this big pimple I've got up here? Well, I went and got my skin checked yesterday and he was like, you know, going through my hair, looking at my face, checking my skin. And then he touched it and he goes, ooh, you've got a big pimple there. I was like, yeah, thanks doc. I know. Next, I just also like to go over my blemishes with a concealer to really cover them up. So I'm going in with this Maybelline Master Conceal and it is in the shade 10 Fair. I can't even remember the last time I used this. I've just put some on the back of my hand and I'm gonna take my beauty blender and just go over these pippies. Now for foundation, this one's an oldie. Are you ready for it? It is the Rimmel Lasting Finish 25 Hour Foundation. The one with the red lid. I used to use this all the time, probably because it was one of the only foundations I had that kind of matched my skin tone. I don't really wear it that much anymore because it is really thick and heavy on the skin and it's also a little bit too pink toned for me so I have other foundations that match me better including the new Rimmel Breathable Foundation. So I just pumped some onto the back of my hand and I've added in a few drops of a whitening liquid. Okay, I understand I'm looking very scary and pale, but we will fix it, don't worry. To conceal under my eyes, I'm going in with the NARS Creamy Concealer in the shade Chantilly. I forgot how good this concealer really is. Like, wow. I actually want to buy the pot version. Anna always uses it in her videos and I think I need it. And then to set this, I'm going in with my all time favorite Rimmel Stay Matte Pressed Powder. I even used to use this brush all the time. This is the Real Techniques. I couldn't tell ya because the names come off it, but this used to be my favorite powder brush. It just really packs it on. I don't know how I used to wear this foundation every day. Like, 
it feels so heavy and especially with this powder packed on top all I can say is I'm glad they brought out the breathable version because, oh my god, it's so much better. For my brows, I'm going to go in with this ColourPop Brow Pomade, and this is in the shade Blondie. Now, I don't usually use pomades. It's what I started off using back when I first got into makeup, but then I found powders and that was much easier for me. So, this could take a while, but let's give it a go. Alright, that wasn't as hard as I thought it would be. That brow pomade is real kind of moussey, it's not very stiff, so you only need a little bit and you can work with it really well, so I might have to start using that a bit more. I also really like the colour. Alright, for brow gel, I'm going in with the L'Oreal Brow Artist Plumper. This one is so old that it's in the old packaging. I thought that was going to be a bit more dramatic, but it really wasn't. <laughs> what I love about this one is that it has a really small little brush. That's what I'm about. Moving on to the face, I'm going in with the Revlon and Chloe Morello Contour Kit. I'm going to be using the contour and the bronzer out of this kit, and these are actually really, really great shades for my fair skin tone. I have always loved this, I just haven't reached for it in a long time. So this is the contour shade here, and as you can see, it is nice and cool toned, and this one is the bronzer. <laughs> That's annoying. You can be removed for a minute. Those two colors just work so well together. I really, really love how that looks. For my blush, I'm going to be using this old Christmas limited edition Smashbox blush palette. And then for highlighter, I'm actually really excited to use this, and this is the Balm Mary Luminizer. This was the very first highlighter I bought, and oh my god, I used it so much. And then one day I dropped it, and it smashed, and I was devastated, so I got my rubbing alcohol and pressed it all back together. Oh, it's just so pretty! Mmm, I need to get back into this. For my eyes now, I don't have a ton of eyeshadow palettes, so I do feel as though I use them quite regularly. So what I'm going to do is use some Makeup Geek shadows for my transition. And then for my lid shade, I'm going to go in with this ColourPop Super Shock eyeshadow in the shade La La. To highlight my brow bone and inner corner, I'm going to go back in with the Mary Luminizer. And for mascara, I'm going to be using the Benefit Roller Lash. Now, I just bought a mini one of these. Of these? I just brought the mini version, and 
I've only used it a few times, it's kind of just been sitting in my collection. I generally like fluffy mascara wands, so I think that's why I don't reach for this very often. That's pretty good. Wow. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm actually really impressed with that. They're not as fluffy as I usually like them, but that mascara has definitely lengthened them, so. And then lastly for my lips, I'm going in with my Lestage Liquid Lipstick in the shade Lady Dreamy. If you didn't know, I do have a discount code with Lestage. It is Tanika15 and it will get you 15% off your order. Now, these liquid lipsticks feel a lot like the Huda Beauty. So if that's the kind of formula you're into, you will absolutely love these. All right, well, this is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed watching. I had a lot of fun dipping into these products that I don't reach for as often anymore. I definitely want to bring a few of them back into rotation. The Balm Mary Luminizer needs to be back in my life more. Like, <gasps> come on. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. And you can also come follow me over on Instagram. I hope you all have a lovely week and I will see you next time. Bye.